Okay, Pisces, you're feeling strong. You're feeling ready to go. You have been calming that energy inside you that has been unrested, has been unsettled for some time. And I'd say the sun energy and this uh, the next month is going to bring you to a place of uh, feeling way better about yourself, feeling super um, in tune with you for a change, okay? So this is a good thing. Um, and also there might be a Leo around you that is helping to make you feel better about yourself or they're inspiring you in some ways. So I would definitely uh, give that Leo a hug because I think they're helping you. Now the, the magician is in reverse. So it's telling me that on many occasions you lie to yourself. Now just listen before you get upset. Now just listen before you get upset. It tells me that the Pisces doesn't always see who they are, doesn't always see themselves for truth. Um, they often push it away. They often um, ignore often ignore what's happening inside them and point the finger to others. Sorry, I'm just saying. So you need to listen. So don't fool yourself. You are part of the problem. This is the thing the Aquarius and Pisces are sharing right now. You are part of whatever situation you have that isn't going well. You are part of the problem. So I'm asking you to be part of the solution. Okay? You lie to yourself too much stop it stop lying to yourself and also don't allow yourself to listen to others if they feel if you feel that that person is lying or not fully truthful or not completely above board you're right listen to yourself your instincts are amazing pisces instincts are amazing but you do you either listen or you don't it's not in between so what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're lying to yourself, you're also screwing yourself up about what's coming forward, okay? So I'm saying to you, stop lying to yourself. Be honest with yourself about your feelings, about your experiences, and take it like a pro. Own it. You are part of the problem. Stop pointing the finger at others. Don't forget there's three fingers pointing back. Now, so I'm saying to you clearly, you are lying to yourself about something. What is it? Stop lying to yourself. Be honest. Be real. I think the next few weeks, the next few, uh, maybe the next month even, is going to give you an opportunity to really uh, hunker down and figure out what's going on with yourself emotionally. And so this liberation that you're going to feel is going to help you actually t let, sort of like turn the light on the inner being. And you'll be able to figure out what it is you want, what it is you need, where it is you want to go, um, and what's going to make you happy. Now, you may be very surprised to find out that the things that you thought you didn't like, you actually love. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, now, I do see, again, I see another Leo energy, Leo uh, Sagittarius or Aries. Another Leo Sagittarius or Aries person may come into your life and that person, um, you may find them to be a little harsh or a little difficult sometimes. I don't think they mean to be. I think it's just the two of you uh, doing this every once in a while. So maybe just take a step back and, and try to see if maybe, if maybe that person is um, really trying to help or really just didn't understand, or you know, didn't mean to irritate and upset you. So this overall month, I'm gonna say, is one of the better months for you, Pisces. And um, just remember, speak up if you're not happy. Speak up, say your piece, okay? All right, so here we go. This is, um, this is for money. Ah, Pisces, money's finding you. That's a good thing. Looks like you're either someone's going to give it to you, you worked for it or whatever, but you're going to spend it. This is some, this is the next few, uh, few weeks. You're actually going to spend some money having fun and enjoying. And wherever you're going, wherever you go and have fun, wherever you go and enjoy, there's going to be people around you that are really um, interested in what you have to say, are really interested in how you feel or how you um uh, what it is you want. So the people are really going to be interested in, in your advice, your strength, your way of looking at things, your point of view, all of it. Okay. So now I'm looking at health. Health is fantastic. Um, I think getting away from it all or wherever it is you're going to go and put yourself is going to be extremely beneficial to your long-term health. 
okay? Um, so put yourself out there, girl. Looking at love, I'd say the love that you're experiencing is also your friend. So that person is really important to you. I think if you're in love, if you're already in a love affair, it's just going to get better. You're going to get closer. You're going to get more solid even um, because you really are friends. And I think that's a really awesome thing to, to share with you. So your lover is your friend. Now, for those people who are not already involved in love, look to your friends. I bet you one of them there is who you should be with. Now, I know a lot of people say, no, you can't do that. You shouldn't, you know, mix sex with friends and all that stuff. But I disagree. I think especially for the Pisces, uh, what you really need for your soul to be happy is a friendship in love.